I was in the middle of a sentence and I just. Yeah, it's all right. It yeah, did. It's, Brad has the perfect conversation ender. He could just turn everything on or off mm-hmm. as at will. That is the power of the stream deck that is all wired up to do all the bits and magic. Mm-hmm. So this will be interesting to watch. Apple, I don't know if they announced, but it was announced by Pixelmator on Friday that Apple mm-hmm. is buying them, which, depending on how you feel about this, might be a really bad thing. Because if you remember, <laughs> they, bought, they bought Dark Sky and that... Yeah. They, they well, old yellered that real quick. Yikes. Yeah, they did. Um, th- this is odd to me because I kind of know the name and I had to go look it up and th- this is I think it's Mac iPad only basically mm-hmm. or maybe yep. yeah so you know for me limited <laughs> the impact I guess but uh Apple years ago had what was it called aperture something that was sort of oh, a yeah. Photoshop about that. alternative yeah so the theory here maybe is that they're trying to go that road again um and that makes sense to me I I find it amusing in a way that uh, um, Pixel, what's it called? Pixel Mater or Pixel Yeah, Pixel Mater. Pixel Mater said, you know, Apple is going to purchase us subject to regulatory approval mm-hmm. <laughs> because, you know, the, the photo editing market is so humongous that uh, someone might have problems with this. Like, The only one who's going to have a problem with it is real clear is Adobe. That's Adobe, it. Yeah. Yep. Right. Well, then again, I mean, look, photos is actually pretty good for what it is. The Apple app. Um, I mean, the, Adobe is like a lot of things. They always have to deal with whatever basic stuff mm-hmm. is in the OS, right? I mean, like even yep. Photos in Windows 11 is pretty good for most people for simple things. I mean, I don't know. Windows is going to respond by buying Affinity Photo, which, by the way, is a fantastic app for anybody who needs a single purchase. Yeah, no, it's things. what I yeah, it's what I use, and yep. uh, actually. I'm going to get this reversed, but I think it, the owners of Affinity bought Canva or vice versa or something. I don't remember who did what, but you know, they're working on their own little alternative to the Adobe universe, one that is hopefully not subscription based. So, whatever, there's always going to be competition. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so this is like a week of uh, no Apple announcements. How are we going to handle that? I, I suspect there's not going to be any announcements from any company this week. <laughs> That's true. Uh, for people right. who aren't aware and don't have text message or phone numbers that are United States and haven't been, 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 been getting bombarded by text messages right? because everybody's numbers for sale, apparently. Uh, election day well, in the plus, U.S. is tomorrow. So We live in Pennsylvania, dude, so you have to imagine that the uh, the instances of this kind of stuff are amplified <laughs> greatly. Same and Ohio has been pretty horrific. Ohio, I'm sure, is pretty bad too. Yeah. So, I, I, I mean, this isn't why I did this exactly, but I just, you know, switched back to the Pixel, and I have to say, one of the greatest things about Pixel is the way it handles spam stuff, mm-hmm. uh, which is to say, perfectly and automatically. Whereas I spent weeks yep. manually dealing with every instance of spam on my iPhone. Like once you move to the Pixel, it just yeah. goes away. It's nice. Yep. Well, anyways, I pray that that all ends after tomorrow. I'm assuming it won't end tomorrow. It'll, it'll end on Wednesday, maybe. Maybe most of the most horrible things in life don't happen quickly. <laughs> so, yes, it's what a great way to, to start a Monday. Fair to say this will be a malignant multi-week event. Um, we'll see what happens. But anyways, the Bengals won this weekend. They didn't play anybody, but they won. Well, they did play somebody. They won by not playing. Is that? <laughs> I mean, unless Aaron Greenberg's listening, it was they played the Raiders. So it was like, hey, eh, it's like yeah. they play the Ravens on Thursday, which is going to be brutal. So that'll be, yep. Yep. they're not. That's going to be rough. There's, yeah, they're good. Anyways, they're almost as good as Intel saying that their Lunar Lake chips are one off, and um, that is, I, I'm a little freaked by this, honestly. <laughs> that's really you know? weird for them to say, even if it is true. It, it, all that to me says well, is don't buy a Lunar Lake chip. <laughs> I know. So a couple things on this one. The, the the phrase one-off was handed to them by one of the people on the call. At, you know, they do this post-earning conference calls. Mm. 
and then Pat, you know, people say things and you, it puts it in your brain and then you say them back. And that's yeah, very yeah. common. Like people mm -hmm. just do that. And that's what happened with Intel. So this guy said one off and then Pat Gelsinger just parroted it back. And now we have a quote where Pat Gelsinger, the CEO of Intel, could describe their latest chip as a one off. <laughs> it's like, okay, dude, you got to be a little smarter than that. Um, yep. I, but yeah. So. It, it, the one-offness of it is architecturally um, the way this thing is packaged. The RAM is packaged with the chip, mm -hmm. whereas on previous designs and now I guess on future designs from Intel, the RAM will be packaged separately, which means PC makers will be able to do things like provide DIMM slots or whatever they call them now, and you can change the uh, you know amount of RAM that you have in the system after you buy it, which is kind of a nice thing, right? We yep. don't see this in Apple's computers. We don't see this in smartphones, obviously. Um, we don't see this with Snapdragon X computers um, as well, right? And this is not about packaging, but for, for, for there, were, there were reasons. Um, most modern laptops, regardless of architecture, also are non-upgradable from a RAM perspective after the fact because that RAM is soldered, soldered on and does there is no additional DIMM slot, right? So... There's some cost savings element to this. There's some performance elements to this, by the way. And Intel's design of packaging the RAM on the die, if you will, with the mm -hmm. CPU and everything is actually more efficient and better performance, right? And and literally sometimes it just comes down to dis like literally physical distance between the chips that are the CPU and whatever and the RAM. I know that sounds impossible, but the further these things are apart physically. The slower the performance, like a you know, like a signal dies over time or whatever. Like it's it's kind of curious, but anywho, yeah, I guess they're not doing that again. <laughs> it's like guys, you can't change the architecture of your chips every single year. What the the change they made for Lunar Lake is part of what sunk them financially this year. Mm -hmm. That cost, you know, it's crazy. So, yep, yeah, I. The thing Intel doesn't get credit for, and and Pat Gelsinger specifically, is they've been pretty transparent about this stuff, right? They've been upfront. Sure. They yeah. they're not hiding it, you know. Mm -hmm. Um, and I, that's very explicit. Like they're doing it on purpose, and he, you know, he talks about it. And I think we, you and I, talked about this last week. This notion of like just biting the bullet and taking as much of uh you're going to post a loss anyway make it nuts you know just take it pu pull it all in now um so yeah i mean they're being credible but yikes the oh i'm sorry i meant i said there were two things so the other thing about lunar lake that no one's really talking about and this is going to be in I, i'll be reviewing one of these laptops soon um the performance is terrible like really bad like notably noticeably bad as is the battery life, actually. Oh, <laughs> and I thought you were going to say the battery life was going to be... No, it turns out that using the normal standard power management switches in Windows and leaving it on its default is what causes... Well, I don't know which is the cause and the effect, but is the problem. So if you put one of these things on high performance rather than balanced, actually it performs normally. Now... I can't speak to the battery life implications of that. Of course, that's going to be a problem. But um, I've had much better, <laughs> much better results, um, performance and battery life with the new AMD stuff. Like it's not even close. So that's kind of an interesting problem. I don't think it's related to the one-off bit necessarily, but they have higher performance versions of this architecture or something like this architecture in. What, Arrow Lake, and then next year we'll have Panther Lake and whatever else is coming down the pike. But yeah, this, <laughs> there's, oh, dude. <laughs> it's just, it's really troubling. I guess yeah. <clears throat> it's too bad because it seemed like they kind of hit it out of the park um, at IFA. But I've talked to other people who review hardware and they all say the same thing like, you got to flip the switch because it's, it's basically unusable otherwise. And that's how they, they go out the door like that, dude. Like it's normal people aren't going to know. Yep. I'd still like to build a desktop that is Copilot plus whatever enabled. Mm -hmm. I don't think that's possible yet. No, not yet. But 
You will. I mean, that's going to happen. Like, there's no doubt about it. Just, you're going to want to use, I think it's the Arrow Lake. Uh, it's the, the, they don't call them these anymore. They have different um, schemes, but it's like V and something else. Uh, but what used to be like U-series, mm-hmm. like what you want is a higher wattage Arrow Lake, core, you know, core design, um, HX, whatever. What about on the like. AMD side who has a... <laughs> all you have to do is buy AMD. <laughs> it's all, They're all great. Yeah. It's just good. I know nobody buys AMD, but 